Hey, Ganesh, uh, we were talking about the uh, Monero Pay uh, article you were reading. Can you share a bit more about that with us? Yeah, sure, Mike. In this case, uh, Monero Pay is basically it's uh, talking about uh, the cryptocurrency Monero and the pay related to ransomware. They try to propagate this as a new cryptocurrency, like a uh, Sprite coin. Mm -hmm. In the BitTalk forums, actually, someone actually propagated, you know, we are launching the new crypto coin. It really does not exist. The threat actors are actually leveraging the craze about the cryptocurrencies. And when a new altcoin, which is a, a coin other than one of the major ones, comes out, people try to get in at the ground floor, either start accumulating it or start mining it. This fake wallet software was actually ransomware in disguise. People who are excited about new altcoins mm -hmm. might want to get in on the ground floor, so they immediately set up a wallet for it, yeah. right? Yeah, it turned out the Sprite coin is not a real coin, it's a fake coin. Okay. Once this um, executable has been downloaded, uh, what it tries to imitate is it's trying to, you know, installing the wallet onto the machine. Mm -hmm. And while doing it in the background, if it's silent, it actually tries to encrypt the files and the hard disk of the victims. Yeah. All right. It tries to give some information about the user, specific user information, maybe some information about the OS and the uh, CPU details as well as it also tries to grab passwords from uh, regular uh, browsers like uh, Chrome okay. and Firefox. And all this information is sent to a Onion link on a Tor network. Okay. So once it completes the sending of this information, uh, as soon as it's done, actually, it presents the, actually, you know, the ransomware node. Okay. Your files have been encrypted. Uh, by the time it's too late for the user, and I think it demands about uh, 0.3 Monero coins, I think which is worth about 120 US dollars. There seems to be uh, numerous downloads. I thought it was interesting as part of this story that um, the ransomware doesn't encrypt the entire hard drive. It's looking at specific files. A lot of them are uh, developer extensions. I'm a little bit curious. Maybe there's something else going on here that's not immediately apparent. Maybe that information is the real goal and the, the ransomware is a cover. The files that were encrypted seem to be very developer specific file extensions that have to do with writing software, um, which suggests that the target in this case was really developers. So it does seem to be, um, you know, mm -hmm. going after the files that, um, you know, people that are more technically affluent are probably going to have on their computers, people who are doing development projects or what have you, uh, to again incentivize uh, the paying of that ransom, which they're keeping small so that it is really more of a nuisance fee uh, than anything else. Obviously, the, the, the target audience for the, the, the altcoin itself would be, would be people who are already involved in cryptocurrencies, mining, Probably and things like that. Probably these users are a little bit tech savvy yeah. because they know how to mine it. They're targeting about 40 different file extensions, most of them used by the you know, developers. I would say caution, prudence, and a little bit of research. Before you start investing or getting involved with a, a cryptocurrency of any kind, do your research first. If it's something that's just come out, maybe don't go and buy it ahead of time. I realize there's a temptation that you might make tons of internet money off of doing it first. The ransomware, you need to have good verified backups to you know, get back to where you were before, uh, after the infection happened.